Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. And uh, another day, another signing. Matt Turner yesterday signing on for Arsenal. Um, the new revolution, or should I say the former New England Revolution goalkeeper signing for Arsenal yesterday and he's going to be coming in as Arsenal's number two. Um, I loved his uh, comments that he made. He said, uh, watching Arsenal as a kid, I fell in love with the way the team plays and the values of this club. I felt a lot. I felt it was like a long shot, but why not dream of putting my team shirt on one day? So I dedicated my life to working at my game and being the best player and person that I could be. Um, I was able to realise a dream, and this is one of the best days of my life. Absolutely brilliant. You know, when you when you get a player coming on board who absolutely wants to be here, absolutely love this club, there is nothing better than that. So um, welcome to Arsenal, Matt Turner. Of course, what does that mean for uh, Leno? Um, it means that, you know, Arsenal definitely want him to go. They definitely, you know, probably... Well, I say probably not as ruthless as that, but it is as ruthless as that. Um, hasn't really done anything wrong, Bern Leno, but he's seen Aaron Ramsdale come in, take his number one spot. Now Arsenal have bought in a number two. Um, he's going to be on his way out now. There's a couple of clubs interested in him. Um, Fulham, as we know, and we've also learned that PSV are another club that, inter that are interested in him. Of course, Leno wants to be on that plane to go to the World Cup this summer with Germany he needs to be playing first team football and he will depart for one of those clubs but which one we'll have to wait and see now um the next signing that we're going to be making is Gabriel Jesus of course he is having his medical today um you never know even by the time you've watched this show it might even have been announced um but expect that either today or tomorrow but Gabriel Jesus having his medical at London Coney today he will become a gunner um, we already know the fee, £45 million, pounds, uh, a five-year contract, and he was going to be earning around about £192,000 a week. And he is the marquee signing, the, the signing that Arsenal really wanted to make. They've got their man, Gabriel Jesus, will be an Arsenal player. Looking forward to seeing him in pre-season. Glad that we've got him in early. And um, yeah, can't wait to see him get started. Will we get Lissandro Martinez? That is the next one that Arsenal seem to be working very, very hard on at the moment. The 24-year-old Argentinian centre-back who can also play left-back and defensive midfielder. Um, Arsenal said yesterday to put in an increased bid of around about £35 million to Ajax. Ajax still holding out for around about £42 million. But Arsenal seeming to be getting closer. They want to move fast on this one because, as we know, Manchester United are also um, interested in signing him. But at the moment, Manchester United seem preoccupied with trying to get the deal for Frankie de Jong over the line. That seems to be their main priority at the moment. And Arsenal are looking to pounce right now and get this deal done. I mean, what would it say, by the way, if, if he chooses to come to Arsenal over going to... Man United and Ten Hag. That does tell you that, you know, Arteta's having a pulling power when it's a player that, uh, you know, used to play for Ten Hag. Also, another factor in it, of course, is that his agent is Jorge Mendes, who seems to have a very close relationship with Edu. I, I'm starting to think that Arsenal could get this one done. Um, the only sticking point on it is what the price is going to be. Ajax at the moment are in no real hurry to sell. Um, you know, they've got various players that they're getting a lot of money for at the moment. Sebastian Haller is leaving the club, big money. Uh, I saw they want about 70 million for Anthony, their Brazilian winger um, from Manchester United. So they're driving hard bargains left, right and centre. And why not if you're losing all your best players? But Lissandro Martinez also put in an improved bid. Let's see um, if that is going to be enough to get Ajax, um, you know, as I said, they're getting closer and closer on this deal. And again, it'd be another great signing and it'd be another um, player that'd be great to see come in before the start of the season. Um, so, Lissandro Martinez. What about Rafinha? Um, this is the one I think that's exciting everybody right now at Arsenal. Um, 
we, you know, you know the drill on this one. We we're talking about it nearly every day. But more and more and more, as I said yesterday, Arsenal are becoming the favourites to get him. When you see the other clubs around preoccupied and trying to get other targets as a priority, Chelsea um, at the moment trying to get um, Raheem Sterling yesterday, that looked like that's getting a lot closer. If they get Raheem Sterling, surely they're not going to move for Rafinha. Um, Tottenham have said to have put in a bid for Richarlison. Um, so that seemingly means that they're not really pushing hard at the moment to get Rafinha. And of course, the rumours yesterday that Dembele, um, Ousmane Dembele, that is, looks like he's going to be staying um, at Barcelona, although I saw conflicting reports on that. It's all opening up for Arsenal, but it's going to be the price. Although we're hearing yesterday, no, sorry, today, that Newcastle have also entered the race. Now, under normal circumstances, that would spell no danger whatsoever. But this is a new Newcastle with Saudi Arabian back in big money. They can bid whatever they want. £65 million is absolutely no object. And apparently they've entered the race as well. Again, it's going to come down to the pulling power of Mikel Arteta, of Edu. Does that Brazilian connection help? Although there is, um, they do have a Brazilian as well in Newcastle. But does that Brazilian connection um, that Arsenal are building up help to get somebody like Rafinha to come? <clears throat> Excuse me, I spoke about it before and said that uh, even Gabriel and uh, Rafinha were roommates back in the day over in Brazil. Does that all help? Listen, every little helps when you're trying to get a signing like this one done. But the Rafinha one rumbles on again. Arsenal trying to get this one done to get him in before pre-season. What happens with Nicolas Pepe, though? It's all right. Everybody's saying, get Rafinha, get this, get that. What's going to happen with him? I mean, surely he's going to be on his way out. But we've heard nothing yet of any team showing any interest at the moment in Nicolas Pepe. Remember, we paid about £75 million for him. He's on big wages, £140,000 a week. It's not going to be easy to move Nicolas Pepe on. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to be very difficult as a matter of fact because, number one, there's nobody who's going to pay anywhere near what we paid for him. We'd be lucky to get, you know, £25 million for him. And nobody's going to want to pay those wages. If he does move out, I think he's probably going to be like a loan somewhere or, or or do we keep him but then if we keep him where does he play if you've got you know Rafinha you've got Saka then you know you still got Martinelli Smith Rowe where does where do, I mean it was hard enough last year for Pepe to get a game Reese Nelson's back as well so and also what happens with him you know so interesting times I think you know as I keep saying what I'm liking at the moment anyway is that Arsenal at the moment are sorting out the incomings the priority incomings first, and then they're going to deal with those matters afterwards. And I like that. I like the fact that we're doing that because we need to add quality to the team. Now, I spoke about this guy a few days ago, Seko Fafana of Lons, um, linked heavily with a move to Arsenal for around about £22.5 million. Pounds. Um, a real sort of a general in the midfield. Rumours around again today that Arsenal um, are interested in him. As I said, reported fee was around about £22.5 million. However, Lons apparently looking for about £34 million for him. I don't think they're going to get anywhere near that. Um, very, very good player. Uh, 27 now, so getting a little bit older. Newcastle also said to be interested. As I um, said a few days ago, seeing him a couple of times playing for Lons, and I was very impressed with him. Um, could he be like a player that Arsenal would go for? if they don't get Tielemans. That seems to be the suggestion. And then his teammate is also being linked with Arsenal today. As Cech de Corre, um, 22 years old, uh, a Mali international, who, again, plays for Lons, uh, primarily as a defensive midfielder, although very similar to Lissandro Martinez. He can also play, you know, as a centre-back. He can also play um, as an attacking midfielder. A very versatile player. Um, valued at around about £22 million. Pounds. Now, the favourites to sign him at the moment are Crystal Palace. They already put in an earlier bid of £14.5 million, pounds, which was turned down. Um, 
they've reportedly made another bid of 18.3 million pounds with uh, add-ons of 4.3 million and uh they seem seemingly are right at the head of the queue to get him but arsenal according to reports coming out of france from le keep arsenal said to be uh keeping tabs on it as well and showing an interest as well i, I don't think arsenal are gonna go i mean if, if they're gonna get check the quarry then why wouldn't they have got basuma his teammate for mali you know who plays in the same position but this guy's um, had a, another guy who had a really good season last year for Lons. They played really well last year. But I do think he'll end up at Palace. But the links are linking him with Arsenal today. So, plenty of activity around Arsenal. As I said, uh, medical today for Gabriel Jesus. Expecting an announcement on that really soon. You never know. You could be watching this program. It's been announced already. Um, but listen, it's so positive at the moment. Let's keep it going, Arsenal. Let's keep getting some quality signings in so we can really have a crack, a good crack at next season. Thanks for watching the show. Um, by the way, if you're into Wimbledon, if you're into your tennis, um, don't forget to get over to DR Sports where James is hosting a brilliant um, Wimbledon show there each and every evening. Make sure you check that out over on DR Sports. Um, but thanks for watching the show today and we'll be back tomorrow.